All right, to give y'all a quick recap, I, I initially paid for this um, trip basically through Blue Green Vacations. The trip costed me $179 initially. My initial payment was $179, and they gave me back $50 of that $179 on a card, which I spent $50 of it. And so basically, I looked at it like I got a, a three day, four night trip for $129. And so at the end of the day, that's a good deal for one three days or two days even for two days that's a good deal shit for one day one something is a good deal depends in vegas especially so i'm like yeah boom 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 but they was like you got to get your own flight there or you got to get there by yourself okay i'll figure that out so i I being bought it like a few months ago waited till like around now to go i thought i bought a cheap ticket like i spent like 40 dollars on my ticket through Southwest because I had a hundred dollar voucher. My 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 whole round trip would have been 144, but I spent only $44 on my ticket. A round trip. Okay. After that, I get here and the the room they post the like they advertised that I was gonna be staying in, they were trying to matter of fact when you make your reservation, they try to make you upgrade your room. The whole thing, I think it's just a sale pitch to upgrade rooms. You feel me? So they try to get me to upgrade my room, which I didn't buy for. I was like, fuck that, I ain't upgrading. I slept in worse hotels, so I just stayed with the room I had. So when I checked in and I wasn't, I ain't upgraded to their resort, they were like, all right, you, we gonna, uh, you staying at the Tropicana. Now remind y'all know nothing about Vegas. This is my first time in Vegas. I figured because I didn't upgrade my shit, they'll put me in some bullshit ass motel, hotel. But actually, the hotel was pretty decent. I give them that. Like, cause I heard a story of them people putting them downtown or far away or whatnot. I guess it was the time. I don't think I, I probably looked up because of the timing. But the Tropicana is right across the street from the, from the, um, Excalibur, the MGM Grand, uh, New York, New York. So I'm at the Tropicana and it's a resort, big ass resort. But I noticed I don't got the best room at the Tropicana. I got one of the, it's the club tower. The club tower is like the, you gotta walk towards the back of the resort and go up see. It's a big ass, like I said, it's a tower. You feel me? I'm on the 12th floor. I got a nice view and everything. Y'all probably, y'all seen a view, y'all seen a room. It ain't that bad. Like, I still, I'm still looking at it like 129 a night, but at the end of the day, when I get to the, so I get to motherfucking Tropicana, the first thing they say is, oh, you got daily fees. So the amount of days you got here, I got daily fees for three days, or three or four days, whatever. So I end up, paying like an extra 125 just for the fees so i'm looking i'm like, I'm like man this shit caught me off guard even though i read it i read like but what i read was something like 17 dollars uh, 17 to 25 dollars so i figured like shit they're gonna be like an extra 75 dollar fee and it end up being 125 i guess taxes and all that shit okay so i i pay for that so i'm, I'm putting everything together i pay one 79 which is actually 129 plus the 125 fees i end up paying like three basically we're gonna say 300 and some change no 200 and some change no my fault we're gonna say 200 and some change you feel me so i'm gonna say my i'm gonna add in my flight the initial payment of 179 take away 50, so that's 129. And the 125, I end up spending like $300. To me, so far, all that shit's still a good, a good deal. This is how Blue Green gets you. Watch this. All right, this is how Blue Green gets you. When they, when you, most people came through through Bass Pro Shop 
I got uh, got at the outlet. They stand outside every outlet trying to get you to sign up. And it sounds like a good deal at the outlet. And the people at the outlet is the first salesman. They they good, but they not that good. They the beginners. They just get you to initially come in. So when you come in, you if you know if you know about sales pitches, you try to just take advantage of the vacation without buying anything. That's what I plan on doing. So what they do is they talk you, they do a whole presentation. Well, a two hour presentation, you gotta attend this two hour presentation. If you don't attend a two hour presentation, they charge you some type of fees or whatever. So everybody go to the presentation. If you came out here, you're gonna go to the presentation, but the presentation gonna drain you because your presentation, if it start off in the morning, you're not gonna leave there to the evening. You get what I'm saying? And when I left there, it was like, I was so fucking tired. I was, I'm tired. That's probably the main reason I'm tired of Vegas. Not because they taking my money, but I would have been tired anywhere I went. But anywho, they talked to me and they try to say you on this thing about buying a vacation, like a timeshare, not the traditional one where you get um, one week out of a month, basically. Every month you get one week out of a month. You basically paying for a condo or a hotel or a resort and you only can live in there for one week. That's the traditional one. How they get you is like, they get you on this point system. Like you pay for this, you pay for the package. You get the point system, you use the point system. That way you can go on vacations for free using a points. You feel me? And not only you go on vacation after it's paid off, the package paid off, it go to your kids. And what they don't tell you is that with them points, it's gonna be hard to use them points. And I, and I was I was already not biting. I was like, man, y'all gotta give me a better deal, a less point, something that's affordable for me. So at the end day, I, I held my nuts until they gave me the sampler package. The sampler package is like buying in, but not all the way buying in. I'm not fully committed to a, a whole goddamn timeshare. You feel me? I got the sampler package where they got me, but they didn't got me. Cause at the end of the day, the sampler package is like for $900, you get 9,000 points and you can use they points, like I said, to book a hotel. So, and after the, after the, um, it's a one year trial. So after the one year, they're going to try to get me to buy into the shit. Well, I've done my research and everybody, like everybody say don't buy in because there's people who bought in and they trying to get rid of their shit. And... It's just no help. It's no, it's no help in them boys. What the fuck? Man, I just seen this nigga dude running. This shit crazy, bro. Only in Vegas. All right, anywho. So. So they looking for his ass. Anywho, let me finish telling y'all. So I researched, they, a lot of people who got the membership basically saying they had to book so far ahead a uh, vacation that they don't know that they could that they uh, could use. And then when they book, they'll cancel it whenever they want to. Whenever Blue Green want to cancel your reservations, they can. And basically, it's hard to fucking get a reservation at the end of the day. It's very hard to get a reservation. And second of all, the thing about passing it to your kids, you always have it. The thing about it, you ought to always pay these maintenance fees like a time or like a regular time share. So not only you got to pay the fees, your kids got to pay them fees for the rest of their life. Like it's overdone. Counts delete, stop, eject, pause for your kids. For the rest of their life you know what i mean so they gotta pay for the shit that you bought you know what i mean so i heard stories about people waiting in the office for nine hours like i was there technically the appointment started at 11. by the time i got to the back to my hotel room it was two three o'clock yeah like so it was like five hours and you're not sitting in one spot for five hours. Like you go on tours, they talking to you, they sending people, but at the end of the day, they trying to drain you and make you buy in. 
most people either don't buy some people most people they crack in they say 70 percent of people they get and they buy in 20 percent of the people don't buy into shit so oh, man. Man. What they got going on? Fuck wrong with these niggas. <laughs> Bro, only in Vegas, dog. These boys on the hunt. <laughs> Alright, so this how I'ma beat them out of the whole deal. I bought into the sampler package. And all they do is I'm basically financed to pay off this uh nine hundred dollars, right? Nine hundred dollars. That's affordable for me. And I'm always flexible. I don't work a nine to five like the normal everyday person that can only take vacations on certain times. I can take a vacation anytime I want to. So I'm always flexible. So any day that's available for me to take the uh, vacation and use my points, I'm gonna be available for that. That's one way, but it's $900, right? I, I made an initial down payment of 150, just 150 down. Even though I didn't want to pay shit, I paid the 150 down, right? The pros of this is this shit gonna get reported to my credit report. The cons of this shit is that it's gonna get reported to my credit report. So the best thing to do when she getting reported to your credit report is pay your fucking credit. So I got seven payments to make after they already took. I got seven payments. $100 payments. I pay that seven, pay it seven times, and then guess what? I got it. It's paid off. Every time I make a payment, get reported. I'm trying, and I'm in the process of building my credit. So basically, they got me under contract for about seven, six to six to eight months, basically. Really seven payments, but six to eight months, right? I've been in worse situations with worse contracts and all type of shit. So I feel like that's something I'ma do. And when I finish paying off what they gonna try to do, their main thing is gonna try to get me to buy into it. And if I tell them no, they win because shit, they already made me pay for the sampler package. But if I tell them yes, they guarantee them more money and they in my pocket for a longer time and I can't get rid of it. But I'm a I'm a piss them off the way they piss me off because I'm prepared. And I want them to, cause at the end of the year they gonna try to convince me to buy into it. And after a year of disappointment, I'm gonna be like hell no nah, because I know they gonna disappoint me. I may only book one vacation using that shit. So I already know I'm gonna get them some bad fucking reviews. I'm a and then I'm gonna go in there and act like I'm interested just like them. And I'm gonna tell them no, no matter how hard they try to get me, I'm gonna tell them no. And that's gonna be it, you feel me? So anywho, man, if y'all experience the same shit that I went through or going through, I want y'all to um, drop y'all comments, let me know what y'all think. And that about it. Holla at your boy.